If you're gearing up for India's chartered accountant exams, you already know the finance papers are a beast. But hey, they're also your ticket to an incredible career. Today, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know and how you can prepare. Think of this as your strategic guide to absolutely crushing it. Let's start with a little perspective. Just look at this number. That's how many candidates, just like you, took the CA final exam in a single session, May 2024. You're not just studying for a test. You're joining this massive, ambitious group of professionals who are all aiming to shape India's financial future. Realizing the scale of what you're a part of? Well, that's step one. So here's our game plan for today. First, we'll get a handle on the challenge itself. Then we're gonna map out the entire journey, take a peek inside the actual exam papers, build up your essential study toolkit, and finally lock in a winning strategy. You ready? Let's dive in. Let's be real about what's at stake here. This isn't just about getting a certificate. Passing these exams is what validates your expertise and launches you right into the heart of India's financial industry. It is, without a doubt, a career-defining moment. The CA journey isn't just one giant leap. It has very clear stages. When it comes to the finance track, everything really boils down to mastering two crucial levels, the intermediate and the final exams. This slide shows that two-step climb perfectly. Think of the intermediate exam as learning your craft. You're building your toolbox, right? Learning the formulas, the principles, the mechanics. That's your foundation. The final exam, though, that's where you become the architect. You're not just using the tools anymore. You're deciding which tools to use and why in these really complex, messy, real-world business situations. All right, let's shift gears from the structure to the actual substance. What can you really expect to see on test day? We're going to pull back the curtain and look at some of the topics that actually showed up on the May 2024 exams to give you a super clear picture. So the intermediate exam is all about mastering the fundamentals. You'll be calculating financial ratios to figure out a company's health. You'll analyze leverage to really understand risk. A huge area is calculating the weighted average cost of capital, or WAC. It's critical for valuation. And of course, you'll be using methods like net present value and internal rate of return to decide if a project is a go or a no-go. These are the absolute building blocks of financial management. And you know, it's not just about crunching the numbers. The intermediate exam also expects you to think strategically. This means you need to be just as comfortable explaining a business framework like Porter's Five Forces as you are calculating a company's financial ratios. Now, let's level up to the CA final. This is where you go from manager to leader. We're talking about complex topics like using financial derivatives to manage risk, valuing entire companies for mergers and acquisitions, and navigating the global landscape of international finance. This is high-level strategic decision-making that gets you ready for the boardroom. So, now you know what's on the exams. The next logical question is, how in the world do you prepare for all of it? Well, that brings us to your essential study toolkit, the absolute best resources to get you ready for success. I really can't say this enough. Before you look anywhere else, your prep has to begin with the official materials from the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the ICA. I mean, they write the exam, so their materials are the ultimate source of truth. It's that simple. This table here breaks down your essential resource list. Start with the official ICA eyesight. That's your non-negotiable home base. Then, you can broaden your practice with platforms like CA Club India, which has a deep archive of papers. VSI Jaipur is excellent because they have papers with solved answers, which is amazing for practice. And CA Cult is great for reviewing suggested solutions. Using them all together builds a really comprehensive study plan. And here's a quick but vital point. It's not enough to just read the material. You have to actually simulate the exam experience. That's where mock test papers, or MTPs, and revision test papers, or RTPs, are a total game changer. Regular, timed practice is absolutely non-negotiable if you want to succeed. Okay, so we know what's on the test, and we've got our resources. Now let's put it all together into a simple winning preparation strategy. It's a clear three-step approach. Here it is, your three-step winning strategy. First, be systematic. Don't just study randomly. Analyze the last five years of papers to spot recurring themes and patterns. This tells you what the examiners really care about. Second, focus on the high-impact areas. Master the topics that carry the most weight, like capital structure for intermediate and M&A for the final. This is about studying smart, not just hard. And finally, stay updated. The ICAI can and does change the syllabus, so make checking their website a regular habit. No surprises. 
And before we wrap, a few final practical tips. Download your study materials as PDFs. That way, you can study anywhere, even without internet. Since the exams are in English, you have to have a rock-solid command of financial terminology. And finally, calculation is really at the heart of these exams, so you have to, have to, have to memorize your key formulas. So there you have it. From understanding the scale of this challenge to having a concrete study plan and the right resources, your roadmap to success in the CAA finance exams is now crystal clear. This is a tough journey, for sure, but you now have a clear strategy to manage it. So as we close out, remember the question isn't if you can succeed, but how you'll begin. With this roadmap in hand, what's the first core topic you're going to totally master?